Like, was that your goal to get pregnant? You should have been told me that because I wouldn't have. I would have. I just got out of jail and I really needed some pussy. Young man, I know she's bad. I know the p fire. But take a moment to not think with this head, but with this one. Are you ready to be a dad? Talk to me, Daquan. On here. Because I know you're going to be like, well, it's been, no, it hasn't been that long since I did this story. If you go check out the gaming channel, like I tell y'all all the time, then you'd see it hasn't been that long. So, before we get into this video, if y'all wouldn't mind doing me a huge favor by dropping a like, commenting, subscribing, turning on the notification bell, and please share the video if you like it. Thank you. And be sure to check out the Discord. There you go, Cam. Bro, I told you I was going to do it. I got you. From now on, I'll start shouting on the Discord because y'all, we really need y'all in there, bro. The DNC Discord, we just reached over 2,000 people. We need more. Y'all need to come over there and join us, bro. But of course, like I always say, be sure to follow me on Instagram at TakeMyVCard. And of course, mm -hmm. you got to follow the new Twitter, Daquan DSG. And of course, you have to follow the Twitch, twitch.tv slash Daquan Wiltshire to keep up with- Are y'all not following already? You happen to miss any. Then subscribe to the gaming channel, Daquan Wiltshire Gaming. And now, with all of that being said, let's get into this video. I told now, Pete. Get, yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bro, I'm not even about to give y'all game. Holy promo. Plus, I'm black. Let me let, let me start that over. All right, so boom. All y'all know how much I love my children. Like, I, bro, I, when I tell y'all, there's literally nothing more I love than my children. Y'all know this. But before they were born. All right, so look, right, this this is not an opportunity for, like, me to, you know, throw my children's mothers under the bus. Because, like, they're both still seven. I'm seven years late for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could have been solved this problem. Man, look, I'm just going to keep it a bear with y'all and let y'all know, you know what I'm saying, how it went when I found out that these women were pregnant. So the main portion of the story is going to, you know, have to do with my daughter's mom. But I ain't going to lie. I ain't gonna lie to you for real, for real. When I get the news that she's keeping it, my demeanor on stream might change. If you ever see me on stream and I'm just like, for like, uh, not like just in the moment, but like expend, extended amount of, like for a week, just know, yeah, man. She ain't letting me go. <sighs> Listen, well, let me start this off with my son's mom. So here we are in October, 2013. Right when I got out of jail. Damn. I was fainting for some pussy. I was desperate. Nigga, I, I, I wasn't desperate. Like, I, I wasn't. Nigga, I, I told y'all I ain't gonna lie to y'all anymore. Yes, I was desperate. Why you never fucking about that big ass bitch? Bro, I, well, no, I told y'all I ain't gonna throw her under the bus. Nigga, like that fat bitch can't even fit. Nah, no. TK gonna become a father and mature instantly? You think I'm immature? I'm, I definitely think that, like, as soon as I get to that point, it's gonna be a flip switch. But y'all think I'm immature? Y'all think I'm gonna be a bad dad? <laughs> I think I'll be a great father. I ain't gonna lie to you. I think you're short as fuck. Okay, thanks for that. I know bullshit. I, I gotta give her flowers. While she's still here. <laughs> like my son shouldn't be. Like, you already abandoned Tyler, so I don't know no nigga named Tyler. That, that's kind of fucked up. But it, it's real. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna lie to y'all. He, he, nigga, what's Illuminati said? I'm not supposed to be here. My son should be singing that. My nigga, I'm a nigga fresh out of jail. You don't try to off. I think you're a whore, honestly. I think I'm in my... At my peak of just vibing, man, I'm celibate. I don't really be getting in anything. Damn, what happened to Tyler? He st listen, bro. Me and that nigga had a sit down. I was like, bro, you're about to be 18 soon. You can't keep doing this. He's like, I feel you. And then he stopped. Oh, for the pussy. Nigga name was like fucking something. It wasn't Tyler though. Yeah, nigga. He was like 17 from Louisiana. I was like, nigga, I've never even been to Louisiana. I first out of jail. Of course I'm hit, bro. Like, don't you got 50 bodies? Why you lying? Y'all know me, like, nigga. It was 2013. Damn, in 2007, that's the last time I bought a condom. Look, man, I ain't gonna say it's been that long since I used the condom. But like, yo, bro, I'm I'm definitely knocking some shit down raw when I get out of jail. So I get released from nigga, nigga. If I get released from jail, and who's there to pick me up? None other than my future baby mom. Now the reason why I said I gotta give her flowers because I'm not gonna lie, that shit, bro, she held the nigga down when I was locked up. But of course, nigga, keep it a bed, bro. All fat bitches do, like nigga. 
I already know she wasn't gonna get the pussy. Probably niggas some dick. I, I wasn't even going with her. But like, regardless, she held a nigga down, bro. And she like, she's fat, but like, she like one of them like thick white girls. <laughs> nah, you know what I'm saying? So like, nigga, she was sending me pictures and shit. I was selling them joints. You know what I'm saying? Inside there, nigga, it is what it is. You gotta do what you gotta do to get your commissary. So of course, how do you think I returned the favor for holding me down for that long? Like, it's so easy to please a fat bitch. Cause like, all I had to do was give her some dick, bro. When I tell y'all, I drilled her shit. Fat bitches got better pussy too. They should be warmer. I'm gonna be honest. One of them. I'm not down one. I ain't even gonna hold it. It's happened before. Throwback. You know what I mean? But, um, should be warm. Should be gushy. I ain't gonna lie to you. No cap. Now, I'm not a chubby girl lover. I have no issues with big girls. You feel me? But, let's be honest. You're not like. Okay, I'm not gonna say she was fat, but she wasn't in shape. She was a little chubby. She had a little belly. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I wouldn't call her fat. But, you know, she has some handles on her. Now, when I tell you that motherfucker gush and squish like a, like, like, like for real, for real, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because she know you like, you feel me? You could do better. So she geeking off the fact that you even laying the pipe on her. But yeah, man. Now, would I participate often? No. But I give it a s mm, 8 out of 10. Morgan Stone, nigga. Put up on nigga. I had to make sure she knew how appreciative I was for everything she did for me while I was locked up. But I didn't know how she would repay me for giving her that dick. I knock her down. I ain't gonna lie. Maybe try to trap you. Gotta be I careful. You, you you can't be listen, bro. You can't be slanging on just any woman like that because they 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 catch you. You gotta understand. The first thing, like, as us niggas, right? When we fuck a bad bitch and her shit fire, first thing in our head is like, oh my God, her shit is fire. Now, when you lay that pipe on a, 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 a female, first thing in our head is, how many other women has he done like this? Now she gets to thinking. That's why they come at you that way, because they don't want no other women to have what they got, because they know what you're doing. You can't just be laying it down on them like that and think she going to let you go away. Her who ain't never, she ain't orgasm in her life and you just made her squirt four times, nigga? Come on, bro, you can't be doing that. You just made her whole bet. She gotta wash her sheets. She doing laundry, washing her sheets like, I can't let this nigga leave. You nutting her. You sent her the money for the plan B. She took that motherfucker, bought some new sheets. Bought some baby socks. She already planning the name, nigga. You can't get away from that. I, I'm not gonna, I did. Six weeks later, she says that she's pregnant. I asked her, how the hell do you know that you're pregnant? She said, just look at my stomach. Like, yo, like. That's why I can't get a big girl pregnant. I, I won't believe it. I'm like, you lying like shit. I got to see it. Show me the test. You sure you ain't just eat good last night? <laughs> no, let me stop. It's looked like that for like the last four years. Are you serious? The thing about like these pregnancy tests is like they catch it like exactly at six weeks. So she waited exactly six weeks to get tested. And I'm like, yo, bro. Like, was that your goal to get pregnant? You should have been told me that because I wouldn't if I would have. I just got out of jail and I really needed some pussy. The thing that pissed me off about this bitch is that she started doing the most so early. Like, you know these girls want to post their pregnancy pictures and shit like that? You can't be doing that with no regular female. For I fuck with any girl, bro, the first thing that we talk about is what are your thoughts on children? How do you feel about having kids right now? What would you do if you got pregnant? I don't give a fuck how uncomfortable the conversation is. I need to know. For real, I need to know where your head at. So, like, in case we get to that motherfucker, is he going, you know what I mean? Wait, what's the word? What are we going to do? So, young men, I know she's bad. I know the pussy's fire. But take a moment to not think with this head, but with this one. Are you ready to be a dad? You see all her red flags. She loved going out with her homegirl. She loved being in the club shaking ass. She be drunk every weekend, out partying. Now, I'm not saying she can't be a good mother, but at 21, 22, 23, you think she want to give all that up? To stay at home and raise your child? She might. But more likely than not, in this day and age, she gonna live her best life. Now, not only do you have a child by a woman that you don't want to have a kid with. You don't even want to be with her no more because you done hated her so much for putting you in this fucking situation. Now your child being raised in split homes. One thing could happen. She, could, she might find a good man. She might get herself a Russell Wilson. But that's the bad bitches. Don't let you add nothing in some mid shit. Because now your son getting raised by a bum ass nigga who do fuck, who smoke cigarettes and work at Walmart overnight and beat him or her because they think that's their kid. And mama not going to do shit because she hates you. Feel me? And she, she just lonely. She, she wants somebody to love her. So she like, fuck it, man. Whatever. He, he's disciplining them. 
Feel me? Mm -mm -mm. I'm telling you, bro. Y'all be wanting to put children through that? Man, I'm sorry, bro. I, I, I agree. Yeah, who knows what that baby could be, but man, why take that chance? We could avoid all this. All right, cool. But the thing is, like, in the early stages, that's for skinny girls. Bro, this bitch posted a picture of her holding her stomach with the caption, 2014. <coughs> My nigga, the first comment said, look it up. It's working. See, that's why we don't need to coddle these fat bitches. Niggas thought she was losing weight. Because first of all, she trying to tell you that she pregnant. Here you are trying to congratulate her on some weight <coughs> loss that didn't happen. Whole time, her stomach just gonna keep getting bigger. So I'm not gonna lie to y'all niggas, bro. After I saw her doing all that shit, I was like, fuck. That's fucking hilarious. I know she gonna keep it. And I'm like, yo, I begged and pleaded with her. I'm like, yo, you're about to ruin my life. You know we're not going to be together. Why the fuck would you want to bring a kid into this world that's not going to be, and they're not going to have their parents in the same home. What the fuck is wrong? You're fat. And then now everybody going to fuck fat bitches. Like, come on, like, really don't do that to me. It's crazy because this is every nigga, bro. They be pleading. They be like, bro, why are you doing this to me, bro? Like, come on. We're not going to be together, bro. I'm not going to wife you. This is not going to make me love you. So why are you doing this, bro? Oh, my, every single nigga, bro. That oh she was my gonna god. Keep this child. I thought I have to be here for her throughout this pregnancy. Real nigga. To try to make sure this motherfucker does not make it through. And that's the fucked up part about this whole my body, my choice. Reason hashtag lifestyle. Oh my god. Nigga said to make sure that motherfucker Dog, this nigga's stupid, bro. He's like, I gotta be there. Just in case. Just in case this motherfucker missed. I swear, I wouldn't have done half the shit to this bitch that I did. If, if I could have just played it, but I thought of being a parent like she could. So, I knew that she was going to keep this kid. So I had to do my research on miscarriages. I had to make sure this miss couldn't carry that baby to term. So I found out that one of the leading causes of miscarriages the is stress. The Niggas start arguing with the bitch. He's the my nigga, I, I, first of all, like, she used to call me in jail probably, like, at least, like, four times a week. I Wait, was, so, is this why niggas be deadbeat dads when they bitch pregnant and they didn't want to have a baby? They be trying to get it gone? Because think about it, that's when a lot of niggas disappear. It's, like, towards the middle of the pregnancy. You think niggas be plotting? Like, listen, let's be honest. Let's ask ourselves, chat. Because niggas not going to say this because their child's born, obviously. But they come a real nigga, so you're going to be honest. But most niggas won't say this. But you think they looked up miscarriages or like what could cause a pregnancy to go wrong and then was like, hmm, let me be ain't shit. I was calling her every day to stress her out as much as I possibly could. I would call her and start the dumbest arguments. Like after we found out we having a boy and like we named him, I would call her and be like, yo, look, so I'm really not fucking with the name. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like you're trying to just have control. She's like, but we named him. Nigga, I would sit there and just go on and on and try to stress out until at a point where she crying and everything like that. Because I'm like, yes, I'd get off the phone so happy. It was fucked up. I ain't going to lie to y'all, nigga. She get off the phone crying. I'm getting on the phone rejoicing. When I tell y'all I did everything I could. Nah, this nigga's toxic. This nigga's terrible. Like, bro, like, bro I, I wrote four nigga, different. Nigga was violating her and then getting off the phone like, that was a good game. Nigga got off the phone like, okay. You executed on the fourth quarter, but next time when she starts crying, don't let up, okay? He in the mirror giving himself pet talks. Listen, I know she started tearing up, nigga, but you gotta push. You could do this, nigga. You gotta do this. That's crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie. They call you a funny nigga, bro. Her name's down in the death note. He's nigga, telling the truth. I respect bro, it, bro. Every time we name it, like, God we damn. It, I wrote that name down in the death note. Like, vicious, nigga. Listen, honestly, bro, once Shawty decide to keep it at that point, I'm just gonna deal with it the way it is, bro. I ain't gonna, you feel me? Whatever happened, happened. But once she decides to keep it, I just have a child. Simple as that. It's time to flip the switch. Like, if I can't, out, if I can't talk her out of it, I'm going to try while it's possible. I'm like, listen, we still have this choice. Are you sure this is what you want to do? I'm telling you. I'm going to be honest. I'm not ready to be a dad. But if this is the position you're putting me in, I'm going to take care of what's mine. I'm not going to fuck with you, but I'm going to take care of what's mine. You feel me? So, and then always wrap it up. Listen, man. Something about condoms just unnatural. If God wanted niggas to have condoms, you feel me? Niggas would have had condoms for the rip. Just unnatural. Condoms unnatural. I don't know, man. I'm a natural nigga. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Anyways. Nah, let me stop. Um, No kids, TK? Bro, I don't want no kids. I, I really thought I could get Fuck rid of this. Safe sex is great sex. And I'm, I tell you, listen. Protect yourself. Get tested. Pull out. You feel me? But personally, I just, 
relationships that I'm in or the people that I do that with are people that I feel like, hey, man, I trust. So now as for the pullout method, live your life. I don't get niggas advice. You feel me? I just tell you how I do it. If you want to risk that, I just hope you know you got a good jumper. That's all I'm saying. You better have a good jumper, but hey, man. Sit off Amazon. Like, nigga, I was so desperate. That's why I said, bro. Like, niggas should be able to opt out of being a parent just like y'all women. But anyways, after all of my attempts, ain't shit. Lo and behold, my son was born. So this little nigga comes out in August. <sighs> nigga, I found out my daughter's mom was pregnant in October. Nigga, my life was fucked. Back to back? Oh, God. That's a gut punch. You nigga like, damn, dog. Like, what the fuck? Bro, I was broke as shit. I was living with my aunt and uncle. Like, nigga, talk about poor pussy management. Like, yo, why did both of y'all let me get y'all pregnant? <laughs> Fresh out of prison? Dog, I ain't gonna lie. Women are hilarious. That's why I be trying to tell y'all niggas when y'all... Wait, actually, they saw the potential in you. Look at you now. They, hey, listen. No matter what they, he says, look at you now. They made a good decision. You a great father. You have something going for you. You are a man with a plan. You might not have had it back then, but you have it now. So if anything, the hoes kind of, women see it before we see it. Low key. That's why a good woman by your side is really, you know what I mean, a blessing. <sighs> too bad, man. Too bad. Mm -mm. Y'all listen to podcasts and shit like that, and y'all be like, oh my God, she want to fuck me unless I have money. Nigga, I fucked the most bitches when I was broke. So I find out my daughter's mom is pregnant. And I'm like, oh. <sighs> can't do this again like I, I really can't god gonna humble you with triplets don't fucking wish that on me bro don't do that bro don't put that in the air that's some fuck why would you wish that on a nigga like me bro nah nigga nah if some shit like that happened i'm gonna really be like bro why would this nigga say some shit like that why would you do that why is niggas wishing shit like why would you wish children on a nigga who's not ready for kids bro you just want you want me to have more financial issues you want niggas to like have to like yo hey kids are expensive nigga that's like a fucking car that you have to pay for all the time. That ain't cheap, nigga. That's, that shit's expensive, nigga. Let a nigga grind. Let me make it so that way I'm good and they can enjoy life peacefully without having me to, you feel me? I don't want my stresses of like financial management have to be put on my child. I want my child to be free to explore and develop as they must. Obviously structured the proper way of raised, like you feel me, but... Aren't you making seven figures? I'm not making enough where I feel like I could have children. Like, <laughs> like huh? <laughs> hey, hey, I know what is fucked up. I know what it is, but like, ladies, y'all gotta understand. When a nigga doesn't want to have a kid by you, why do you force this nigga to become a parent? When do you parent? want kids by? When I'm financially stable. Well, I'm financially stable. When I, when I'm rich, that's when I want to have kids. I'll have kids when I'm a fucking millionaire multi-millionaire when i have so much money i have the time on my hands to be like yeah let me go have a fucking kid why well, do i don't even have the time for a kid right now bro Understand like the what that goes through a nigga's head like because like want, uh, i have whatever never happens, in my happens. life put my hands on a woman that wasn't pregnant would and you ever adopt i would uh, i'd adopt but i wouldn't let that nigga call me dad real with you like i really didn't even put my hands on him my nigga like i just gave her a little motivation to get down the stairs like, like bro like you you're not like like i'm sad Well, damn. I see ass niggas. Nigga trying to raise the next Vegeta. All I'm saying is, they gonna be elite. I know that. You feel me? From what I've seen growing up, things I've experienced, the opportunities I'm going to present them with, the abilities and capabilities that I'm gonna allow them to explore, nigga, like, come on, man. I'm gonna let them do what they wanna do. I'm gonna give them the environment they need to grow, and I'm gonna watch them flourish, nigga. Plant my seeds and then watch them grow, nigga. Like what? Like whenever they want. Literally. Close the fridge, they do a little hip bump. You know what I'm saying? Nigga going to hell? Mm. My son, mom. If if, if you at the top of the stairs. I'm just saying, bro. Cause like like with my daughter's mom, it was completely different. Like this, I took a whole different approach. But I was still trying, like, damn, I was about to kill a little nigga. I was, but like, nigga, I was trying, I was trying to get rid of motherfucker. But it's like, I was trying to do this the right way. There's it really is no right way to kill a baby. Bro, put it like this. There's no right way, but there's ways that it can be done. Technical way. There's some niggas who are doers, and there's some niggas who are sitters. I'm a doer. 
if we can get this shit done, I'm gonna get it done, nigga. Gotta do what we gotta do. There's a difference. Some of y'all niggas would be like, oh, well, I can't. I'm gonna just let it be what it is. Nah, if, if, if it come to it, I'm gonna get it done. You feel me? I ain't gonna lie. I'm the type of nigga, I tell her I have a vasectomy. I'd be like, well, congratulations, but I, I, I can't have kids. So I know it ain't me. You can't go test one of them other niggas. <laughs> Listen, I ain't even gonna panic. I'm like, hey, I know I can't have kids, so it's not mine. You got 19 other solutions. You better figure it out. You want to see the paperwork? I'll show you right now. Capping out my eyes. I'd be like, I'll go show you the doctor shit right now. She'd be like, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'd be like, yeah, nah, you better go test them other niggas. Hey, congratulations. I'm happy for you. But hey, man, had a vasectomy? Hey, listen, you got to think on your feet. And then if she's like, okay, she move on, then she wasn't really sure what's going on. Keep it pushing. You chilling? You feel me? What if she don't fall for the bluff? Then damn, nigga, deal with it. But come on now, if you cough, bro, listen, people will believe anything you say as long as you say it like you mean it. If you sound like you, like, just don't sound like you capping. Like, yeah, I had a vasectomy, 2017. Yeah, whole procedure, I got the paperwork in my folder right there. You want to see it? I'll show you. Congratulations, I'm sorry, but I don't know what to tell you. Bro, just sound like you know what you're talking about. Come on, you'll be straight. Cap your ass off. And then listen, man. Yeah, I got the paperwork in my car. Start walking to your car. She like, oh shit, he's serious. Come on. You can't get a vasectomy. Free me unless you have four kids. Free me? What does that mean? Like, right. with, my, with my daughter's mom. For free? <laughs> Who said you get a vasectomy for free? I thought those were paid procedures. We discussed it. And we both determined that the right thing for us to do. Potato, appreciate you What's up? Lamar, appreciate you giving the sub. Cruel, appreciate you giving the sub. To set up an appointment. Like, yo, bro, it's fucked up that you really ain't got to set up an appointment to kill a baby. Like, they dead ass do walking murders. And bro, I'm on the phone. I'm like, hey, um. I'm That's like, not funny. You don't say straps on an appointment to come Hey, man, oh, no, everything. Bring him on in. And I'm like, yo, like, you sound happier than me. Bro, when I tell you, she sounded enthused. Like, my nigga, how heartless do you have to be to work in an abortion clinic? So I get off the phone. And I go over there and tell her, you know. They said for us to just. Come in. She was like, like, so. When do you want? I'm now! Like, right now, nigga, before she even got to finish the sentence. Like, don't even ask me that shit. When do I want to do it? Bitch, right the fuck now. Like, I would do this shit in the house if I could. So we get in the car, and, like, we're on our way up there, and every time I look at her, she she looks like she's ready to break down. And it was, like, really hard for me, like, to control my happiness. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. But I was happy said I'm like, yes, I'm not having another fucking kid. Like, it was so fucked up, but I couldn't help it. Bro, I swear I wish that this abortion clinic wasn't so far. It was like an hour away. And she kept, like, looking over at me and wanting to talk and say shit like, you, you know that we're in this together. Like, you know the fuck we ain't, bitch? You gotta get the abortion, not me. But, like, yeah. We, we, we in a car together. You know what I'm saying? Like, we gonna be in a lobby together. You feel me? Like, bitch, I ain't even going in the back room with you. Like, this nigga's not shit, bro. Oh my god, bro. This shit's crazy. Yo, yeah, just because I watched you suck babies out of me don't mean I gotta watch them suck a baby out of you. So, anyways, we pull up at the abortion clinic. We sitting there in the parking lot. She gonna look over at me like, it's really hard for me to go in there. Like, it, it, like it's really not. <laughs> just walk. What you doing? You need me to help you out the car? You want me to get them a wheelchair? You, you need a wheelchair? I'll go in there and get it for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me get the door for you. So she stops. And she's staring at the clinic. I'm like, are you okay? She says, I don't know if I can do this. And like me, nigga fought to his knees. I feel messed up because now I got to motivate you to get an abortion. So like I got to motivate you the best way that I see fit. And I do what I, anybody would. So I'm like, yes, you can. I, I know you can do what I Hold on, wait. Niggas really, not, you, really, niggas really not seeing the gates, bro. I'm just saying for right now, you do. Bro, I'm trying mm -hmm. to console her and shit, because I'm nah, like... that's crazy. You you may not be able. That's crazy. Like, you don't think you're able to do it, but... <laughs> you damn sure get this motherfucker done. Like, we're not leaving here with a kid. So I convince her to go in there. We walk in. Talk to the receptionist. We get a number. And then we go sit down in the lobby. When we get to the lobby, I'm looking around at everybody. And... There's a few women there by themselves, which I did feel sorry for. And there were a few women there with their men. And 
Uh, that's crazy. Imagine you just sitting there, you looking at niggas like. You just make eye contact with a nigga, you're like. Every last one of us niggas was happy as shit. You know how like when you're so happy that you try to like hold it in, but like you can't, it just it just shows. Like nigga, I'm in there and like, bruh, no bullshit on every nigga's face. It looked like we was trying to do a, like a, a try not to laugh challenge. And, and and the fucked up part about it was like when I was in there, shit, you know I'm saying like I told you it was girls there by themselves and and, and one of them, it, the shit didn't seem to phase her. So she over there looking at me and, and winking and licking her lips. And I'm, I'm like, damn, you in an abortion clinic, right? That pussy got is a graveyard, boy. <sighs> you fuck her, you gonna see spirits, nigga. You can stop playing. You fuck that girl, you seeing ghosts. You gonna hear whispers in your ear at night. Is it like a grace period or something like that? Because I will fuck you right when we leave here. I don't give a fuck what y'all niggas gotta say. Think about it like this, bro. Look, nigga, I'll fuck both my BMs and I was scared as hell them bitches gonna keep the baby. Knowing damn what this bitch ain't gonna keep you think I ain't gonna fuck her? Now, granted, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Like, I ain't give her too much attention because the whole time I'm thinking, like, I, I don't wanna piss my BM off and she end up leaving. Because then, now I got a whole nother 18 years ahead of me, you know what I'm saying? So I, 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 I was just trying to focus on my baby mom. I'm sitting there hugging her, like, she crying. And like I'm, I'm trying to cry. Like I'm not gonna lie, cause I I, I was trying to fake the tears. It's just I couldn't, cause I'm just like if I if I cry right now, it's all tears of joy. So while I was sitting there, she reaches inside of her purse and pulls out a picture of the sonogram when she found out she was pregnant. Then she looks up and says to me, "I just wish I could hear their voice." The fuck you think you leaf water something, bitch? Why are you trying to talk to the dead? Like, you know, damn well, we came here to get rid of this motherfucker. So people keep going back and forth, in and out the room. And like, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, bro. We were there for like a few hours. Then they finally called our number. So we get up and start walking over there. And she, like, starts really breaking down. Like, she's letting it out. And she's like, we're, we're really about to do this. You, you damn right we are. The fuck, like, yo, we came here for a reason. Bro, nigga said, I'm leaving here with something. Something getting done. I don't go fuck. We came here for a reason. I'm leaving here with something. We got to see it through, my boy. We get back there in the room. <laughs> this nigga stupid. We sit down. The doctor starts explaining the procedure. And that's when everything changed. Bro, I saw the pictures of the procedure of an abortion. And there was no way in hell I could put that woman or that baby through that. Bro, I'm about to keep it so real with y'all. I saw that shit, and I'm not even going to lie to y'all, bro. I broke down. I'm not even going to. I'm going to tell y'all the God honest truth. I was in an abortion clinic crying, bro. I really was because I was like, damn, people really be doing this to children. Now, granted, I'm not going to lie. I've always been like a pro-choice nigga. I always thought I was, you know what I'm saying? And I've always been the type of person where I thought if a girl got pregnant, I'd just tell her to go get an abortion if I didn't want the baby. But when you're there in that clinic with them, I promise it'll change your mind. Now, just because I said that, that still doesn't change the fact that like, I still got rid of my son. I'm not gonna lie. I hated his mom. I hate that. I don't hate him. I don't hate him. I don't exactly. I, I, I love him. I'm not gonna do this right now. Man, look, bro. If you got the power to go through that yeah, shit, then by all means, you do. I know this. If I get a woman pregnant, definitely a woman that I care for, there's no way in hell I could do that shit, bro. And thank God I didn't do it because after that, I was blessed with the most perfect, beautiful little baby girl. And I love her. To death. That's fucked up. Good for him. Because I kind of just said I hate my son. Like, but I be saying that a lot. Damn. That makes it sound even more fucked up. Why do I say that about my son? Like, bro, a lot of parents don't want to admit it. But I do. Like, oh, damn, it's on YouTube, though. Anyways, look, man. We left the clinic. Nine months later, my daughter was born. End of story. So thank y'all for watching this video, man. When I tell y'all, I appreciate all the support. Yo, thank y'all for keeping me relevant. Because I'm not going to lie, bro. Sometimes I'll be like, damn, bro. I'll be looking at the view count. But, like, I don't really care as long as I have DSG behind me, nigga. You already know all my that DSG gorillion ass, nigga. Bro, YouTube niggas. Y'all need to come over here and fuck with us on Twitch, nigga. Don't be going crazy. But they be disrespecting the hell out of me, bro. I don't know what. Fuck, I be doing a video called a goddamn monkey so much, but... Hey, yo, W video.